chapter on Description of Ghusl in the case of Janaba, Sexual Impurity It was narrated that Aisha said, When the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, performed Ghusl in the case of Janaba, he would start by washing his hands. Then he would pour water with his right hand into his left and wash his private part. Then he would perform wudu as for prayer. Then he would take water and pour it over his head and make it reach the roots of his hair, using his fingers. When he saw that it was thoroughly wet, he would pour three handfuls of water over his head. Then he would pour water over the rest of his body. Then he would wash his feet. It was also narrated from Hisham, a similar hadith as hadith number 718, with this chain. But he did not mention washing the feet. It was narrated from Waqiya, from Aisha, that the Prophet, peace be upon him, performed the ghusl from Janaba. He started by washing his hands three times. And he mentioned a hadith similar to that of Abu Muawiyah, hadith number 718. But he did not mention washing the feet. It was narrated from Aisha that when the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, performed ghusl from Janaba, he would start by washing his hands before he put his hand in the vessel. Then he would perform wudu, as for prayer. It was narrated that Ibn Abbas said, My maternal aunt, Maymuna, told me, I brought the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, water to perform ghusl from Janaba. He washed his hands two or three times. Then he put his hand in the vessel and poured some water over his private part and washed it with his left hand. Then he struck his left hand on the ground and rubbed it vigorously. Then he performed wudu as for prayer. Then he poured three handfuls of water over his head. Then he washed the rest of his body. Then he moved away from the spot where he had been standing and washed his feet. Then I brought him the towel, but he refused it. It was narrated from Al-A'mash with this chain, a hadith similar to hadith number 722. But it does not mention pouring three handfuls of water over the head. In the hadith of Waqiya, it describes wudu in full, mentioning rinsing out the mouth and nose. In the hadith of Abu Muawiyah, there is no mention of the towel. It was narrated from Ibn Abbas, from Maymuna, that the Prophet, peace be upon him, was brought a towel, but he did not touch it, and he started to do like this with the water, meaning, shake it off. It was narrated that Aisha said, when the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, performed ghusl from Janaba, he would call for something like a vessel used for milking, and take water in his palm. He started with the right side of his head, then the left. Then he took water in both palms and poured it all over his head.